My name is John Durso, and I'm from New York. Mr. Buffett, you've said that you could return 50% per annum if you were managing a $1 million portfolio. What type of strategy would you use? Would you invest in cigar butts, i.e. average businesses at very cheap prices, or would it be some type of arbitrage strategy? Thank you. It might well be the arbitrage strategy, but in a very different, perhaps, way than, than customary arbitrage is thought of it. One way or another, I can assure you, if Charlie was working with a million or I was working with a million, we would find a way to make that with, with essentially uh, no risk, not using a lot of leverage or anything of the sort. But you change the one million to a hundred million and that 50 goes down like a, like a rock. But, uh, uh, there are little fringe inefficiencies that people don't, don't spot. And you do get opportunities occasionally to do, but but they don't really have any applicability to Berkshire. So, Charlie? Well, I agree totally. It's just what you used to say that large amounts of money, they develop their own anchors. Yeah. You just, it's, it gets harder and harder. I've just seen genius after genius with a great record, and pretty soon they got 30 billion and two floors of young men. And away goes the good record. It's just the way it works. But Charlie, it's hard as the money goes up. When Charlie was a lawyer, initially, I mean, you were developing a couple of real estate projects. Or, I mean, you find, if you really want to make a million dollars, or 50% of a million, and you're willing to work at it, and uh, you'll find, that, that's doable, but it just has no applicability to managing huge sums. So, wish it did, but it doesn't. Yeah, Lee Lu, using nothing but the float on his student loans, had a million dollars practically shortly after he graduated as a total scholarship student. He, he found just a few things to do. Yeah. And did them. <laughs>